we are not a dating event or agency, um, but we just thought that it would be meaningful to create spaces for people to come and talk to each other and form new connections. Is that a yes or no question? Yes. Are we supposed to answer like friend zone, friend zone or friend zone, friend zone? My question is about friend zone, friend zone, not in your friend zone. Nani? <laughs> but if you write yes, then later the person you friend zone feel very sad. But it's life. Ching! <laughs> <laughs> I reverse friend zoned it because my husband and I were best friends for many years before we decided that, oh my god, actually we like each other and then now we are married. I, I guess that was like long, long ago. It was like before NS. There was a, I, I recall something. Wait, okay. <laughs> what, what do you want? You want elaboration? I do, but maybe off camera. You can ask. You can ask. <laughs> I, I can say anything, but you must ask the right question. The girl said. Like, the girl is sad. That you friends on her. She might not even know. Oh. Like, I, I don't know, like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's nothing wrong with. Being friends, so yeah, because it's just life, right? If the person right. isn't interested in you, but you also don't want to be with someone who inter isn't yeah, interested in you. That's fair, fair. Yeah. The question is whether our participants have gone beyond being friends. Oh, wait, wait, I have an answer. I have to try it. One, two, three. <gasps> wow, how do you do that? I drew it. I <laughs> sure. Amazing. Thanks. Very nice. Um, the answer is I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I think there there are some people who would definitely be here to look for a life partner. Uh, yeah, but don't don't start with that. I mean, it makes people awkward. We don't observe. Not, neither do we track um, this. Like we, what matters to us is like friendships and connections, um, rather than uh, measuring dates. <laughs> I realized that most young people, we don't have our lives figured out. But then sometimes we are very afraid to say that. Yeah, as in on like social media platforms now, we only show the best side of ourselves. And there's this false impression that everyone has their life figured out. But when people come together to talk, like at events like Friendzone, then I realized that actually no one has their life figured out and it's fine. Right, we can all support each other through this, but how do we have the courage to say that? Sense of like uh, imposter syndrome or anxiety at the workplace. So that's been quite a recurring theme. Maybe just high expectations of self, high expectations uh, by the people around them. Um, but it has led to a lot of, I guess, anxiety. And it's quite a recurring thing that comes out in our conversations. And maybe as a like a broader like add on to Valencia's point, the issue of mental health, yeah, I think it has been talked about more in the last two years, which is great. Yeah, but in many of the conversations that we have, uh I think many people are facing like different types of mental health struggles. Uh I, there's definitely like some upstream causes to this, maybe stress at the workplace or like expectations that they have about how to succeed but, yeah. right? I mean maybe the definitions of success are quite narrow maybe it's the stress to make money mm. and, and that has led to a lot of mental health struggles and some of these mental health struggles are also not recognized by family not recognized by employers and I think that that is an issue that many like youths are facing, yeah. Even though youths are talking about it more, but this is still not fully supported by employers or families yet. Mm. Uh, my proudest friend zone moment was when we ran our first ever event. Uh, I think we were at a marine parade uh, void deck, and we just mop up the whole place and put like fluffy carpets and fairy lights and photos with like 
cushions everywhere and then we invited uh, the neighbours to come down for a packet of Milo and chicken nuggets just to meet their neighbours and I think it was very um, like it was just such a proud moment because we managed to get a complete a group of like I think 20, 30 complete strangers to come down and meet their neighbours yeah. Um, yeah and then that was the first time I realised wow we could do something about this uh, and about community building and about neighbourliness in our estate yeah. it's like we're on to something right that we turn yeah. this idea into reality yes that was the uh, proudest moment for me my, my wish is for like neighbourhood spaces to liven up again like so void decks pavilions like, I hope that it can be used for more than weddings and funerals. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's our only impression of void decks and pavilions now. I mean, I hope that they can really be spaces where neighbours, where people can come together again. Yeah. yeah. I think to add on to that, that more people would care to connect with their neighbours and mm. build community for themselves. That neighbourhood should really be a place where people feel comfortable enough to be a friend and make friends. Mm.